this is write the complex number in polar form um, and make sure that your theta is between 0 and 2 pi. Alright, so I'm going to use the information that I already gave you. We know that um, our modulus is found by a squared, which is this case is 1, so a is 1, b is negative 1. That's already written, so I've got a squared plus b squared, which is just going to equal the square root of 2. Alright, my theta, tangent theta, is going to equal b over a, so I've got negative 1 over 1, or negative 1. Alright, now this is where you have to pay particular attention. Tangent of theta is negative 1, so I'm trying to figure out what angle, the tangent of what angle is negative 1. Well, remember, I really have two choices for that. I mean, I know the tangent of 45 degrees is 1, but is that angle coming out of quadrant 1? quadrant 3. If it's negative, it's either coming out of quadrant 2 or 4. But think about mentally how I would graph that. All right, If I were graphing this, I would go over to the right one and down one. That means that, right, just visualize the, the graph, I would go over the real part, down the imaginary part. So I'm in quadrant 4. All right, So my angle is going to come out of quadrant 4. The reference angle of 45 degrees, which means 360 minus 45 is 315 degrees. All right, so that's my theta. Now I'm just writing it in um, polar form, which you remember that we said that z is going to equal r, which in this case I found to be the square root of 2 times the cosine of theta, which is 315 plus i times the sine of 315. All right, now, do we keep going with that? Mm, no, let's leave it. All right, I want to do one more of those. So I've got 2i times 1 plus i. I'm going to do the same thing here, except I'm going to distribute this and put this in complex form. So I've got 2i plus 2i squared. Now remember by definition that i squared is negative 1. So this is negative 2, just switching the order, negative 2 plus 2i. So r, or my modulus, however you write that, r equals my modulus is going to equal the square root of negative 2 squared, a squared plus b squared, which in this case is going to be the square root of 8, or 2 times the square root of 2. So there's my r. My theta is going to be b over a, or negative 1. All right, I'm in the same situation that I was with number 30, except if I'm looking at this, I'm going to the left 2 and then up 2, which means I'm not in quadrant 4. I'm actually in quadrant 2, if you visualize that, all right, over up quadrant 2. So this angle is coming out of quadrant 2, so my reference angle is still 45 degrees, but I need 180 minus 45 degrees, so theta in this case is 135 degrees. And then if I put this in polar form, it's just my r value, which is 2 times the square root of 2 times the cosine of 135 degrees plus i times the sine 